thank you for joining me. Video number 11 in how to create a title block in Revit Architecture. This is uh, the second video on how to create some sort of 3D logo in uh, Revit Architecture in order to import that into our model once we convert it to an image file. So what I've did is i created a medium resolution image of our Fabco, which, which is okay. You know, it kind of washes out a little bit. The yellow uh, color in the tile looks uh, like it's a little sun bleach, but, you know, if it's been around since the 1970s, you can expect it to look like that. But we can do the export button, and uh, I'm going to call that Famco logo number two. And then go to save. And that's going to be available for us when we want to put that back into Revit Architecture. So let's go ahead and close that. This is what it's going to look like uh, without that, which I really kind of like even better. So let's do this. This is how you use an image uh, image uh, manipulation program if you want to use it that or you know, use it that way. So if you want to use something like that, whether it be Photoshop or GIMP, but I have GIMP open, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to take a screenshot of this. All you do is press the print screen button in the upper right hand corner of your keyboard. Go to GIMP, do control V. It kind of shows your image there. If you go up here to your uh, toolbar, and there's uh, very similar tools that you might find in uh, Photoshop, let's go ahead and ring that and kind of surround that a little bit. Go to image, Crop to selection, file, save as, and this time we're going to call it uh, Fabco logo number three. And it keeps asking if you want to save it, and yes, you want to save it, save it, save it, save it. Let's go ahead and open up one more. Let me bring that back into size. Let's go ahead and uh, open up uh, that other image that we had, and go to where we need to go. And that's going to be in the prep under week eight under logo Fabco lo logo number two. We want to crop this one too. We want to want something that big. You really want to make your image look good. So we're going to crop it just like we did with the last time. Image. Oop. Crop to selection. File save as. And this time we're going to call that logo number four. There we got it. Let's go ahead and pick GIMP away. Let's put uh, this Revit architecture uh, thing away. Uh, this, uh, you know, this particular file. And eventually, it's going to ask us if we want to save it. And yeah, I think I'll probably save it. And we'll probably call that logo. Save, and then close. This way, you can come back to it. If it's for some reason the logos uh, didn't quite work out, you want to, you know, change it and make uh, additional modifications so you can do. And uh, we're going to do cancel on this one. We're going to keep that. So what we have here is our old uh, AutoCAD uh, uh, file that we had in here. We have the text that went with that. Let's go ahead and do something different. We're going to import one of our images, or maybe all of them. If you go to the Home tab, actually, I'm sorry, go to the Insert. Instead of Import CAD, we're going to import Image. And uh, sure, yeah, we'll save the project. Take a few moments. So now we have a bunch of our logos. And we should be able to get a preview of that. If not, we can probably uh, remember what these look like. Logo 4 was the one that was uh, the photo real rendering. The other one was uh, kind of a, a realistic rendering. So let's go ahead and use that one. What it does is imports it in there. Rather big. Right now we're going to go ahead and reduce that in size. nice thing about this is it already has scale grips in here where it allows us to scale that up or down. And you just move it into place. Now, however, or wherever you get your uh, image from, your logo from, if it's an image like this, it imports in the same uh, manner. Why are my daughters making such a fuss out there? So that's one way. Let's just move that out of the way. Let's go back to Insert, Image. Let's import uh, my EDI logo. Well, that's really big. But again, it gives you the ability to scale, scale that down. Rotate it. Rotate. Bang. Move that into place. One advantage of doing logos like this is you could, they'll, you know, they should print out in color. They come in in color, they will print out in color. The black and white uh, AutoCAD logos will not print out in color. So there might be an advantage to that too. I like the stark black and white. It's a lot less distracting when you're looking at a, at a sheet set. And it's uh, typical of other uh, drawings, even though those AutoCAD renderings on the website look like they're in color. They're only in color because uh, it prints out line weights depending on those colors. So that's pretty much what I want to show you about logos and title blocks. 
I'm glad you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed this, but I'm glad you joined me for it, and we will see you in class.